Hello, greetings, it's me again. So this video is a tutorial on how to use eLearn. eLearn is where all of the classes are held and has the information and guidance to be able to be successful in classes if it's virtual or online anytime or even if you come on campus for a class. So there's a lot of important information here and I'm gonna kind of walk you through it. This is the home page of eLearn. If you, um, I'm already logged in, so if you need to log in, check out the video before this one that says what to do on your first day of class, and it'll show you how to log in to eLearn. So here we are. Um, here's more information, as you can see, about video conferencing. As we talked about, some classes may be in Zoom, WebEx, or Teams. So this is information. You can always come to this home page to find out how to use that. As we get into classes, there will be more um, information, which is what we're going to do. So a couple ways to get to your specific classes, you can scroll down through this information and find your classes here. So see it says my courses. Or I like to use this grid because I can click on it and I can see them in an order and I can just go down through the classes one by one and read all the information. So we're going to click on this one. Um, one of the things or key success tips is you have to read everything. Uh, be on virtual or online anytime. You want to read all of the information. So we're going to start here with the news. So see right here, we're in our course. So this says what course we're in. And then we're going to read the news. And so you just go through here. I'm not going to read it you know, to you, of course. But we've got welcome instruction information. This one here we know is virtual because it says right here it meets Tuesday and Thursday from 11 to 12.15 and it's using Microsoft Teams. So already it tells you how to, how to use Microsoft Teams. You can refer to some information in the news item below. Um, again, always contact your professors and instructors immediately when you realize you may have some kind of issue that could get you behind in the course. So here's some information. Um, and again, when the professor is available. Um, here immediately he goes into how you get started and it tells you first steps go to course content and read the overview document so you want to read all the way through this to to find out um, what to do to get started and I'll show you where course content is we're going to look under in here how to use Microsoft Teams so it tells you you can log in through 365 um, that it, you don't need to buy anything so you just want to read all this information is also another section under the course content of Microsoft Teams. So there's, it's a very loaded on ways to find the information that you need. We're not going to click on this just yet because we want to keep reading the news to see what else we need to know. Um, so here it's when the classes are, how to raise your hand. I mean, it's just loaded with what we need to know. Now here to access Connect, this is very important as well. So some of the classes, and this is one of them, have another component of your class that you do work in, um, and this is in Connect. So it tells you here specifically um, that it's a, a codeless access, how to get to it on the first day of class. You could also get a, a loose leaf print copy if you wanted it as well. Um, but this is important to know. Here's a video link on how to register um, and get uh, the assistance needed to be part of the Connect. So your tests and quizzes and so forth could be in Connect. So as we scroll back up, you see here, just along the side here, uh, is upcoming events. Some um, instructors use the calendar this way, some do not. So there is a lot of freedom in how to use it um, for the instructors. But all of the classes have a presence here on eLearn. So let's go through these up here. We've got our course content. We'll click on that. And again, if you remember on our how to get started, there was to read the overview. So we can come right to the overview. That's how we wanted to start. And again, it gives you all the details that are needed for the class. Here's more information about that Connect software. And it talks about every grade uh, assessment must be completed by the established date and time. So that is the Connect aspect we talked about. So you just want to read through all of this, plans to succeed. It's just all laid out for you so nicely. Then there's bookmarks if you need. Um, let's go down to the Teams information here. 
Because again, this is in this class how you're going to meet virtually is through Teams. You may be looking at another class and again, they're wanting you to use Zoom or WebEx. All the information is there. So this even got sign in through your Office 365. You've got tutorial on how to join a meeting. And then you have the link here. So like you just click on the link and it takes you to Microsoft Teams. I've already had it uh, set up. So watch the tutorial to set it up. And then we're gonna click back over to our um, eLearn. All right, so we'll go back to course content. Again, kind of think of it like as the backpack. It's got all the information in there you need, to, everything you need to, to make it through this class. So we'll click on materials. First thing's course content, that's right there. And then frequently asked question, glossary links, all self-explanatory. We're gonna go over here to tools. Tools, there's a calendar and a chat. Again, some instructors use it, some don't. Really what I wanna focus on here is your class list. This is how you're gonna email your instructor. So normally it's on all, and there's a list of students down here. And there's students here, or you want instructor specifically, we're just gonna click on instructor. Here it is. Uh, so we've got Barry Jennison as the instructor. We're gonna click on his name. And now we get an email. It's just the easiest way to email. We don't have to worry about misspelling anything or typos. Now we have can compose a new message straight to the professor. So when you're writing emails, you know, in your subject, you want to be clear about what you're asking. So question about assignment one. And then, you know, dear professor, um, dot, dot, dot and then you would hit send, and then you can see down here it was sent successfully. So that's just very important so that you know how to contact and um, email your instructor. Now back if you're on all or on students, see how this green dot shows that he is online? Um, that's what the green dot means. So maybe you have a question early in the morning or late at night, you could go to the students tab, click on it, see what green dots are up, and maybe email those students and ask them your question. Now just because the green dot's up doesn't mean they're actively typing on eLearn, so they may or may not get back to you, but that's just a tool I wanted to let you know. So back to tools. Um, there's eLearn assistance on here. There's also, this is another way to get to email. You can click on it to read your email. You can also see right here this red orange dot. I'm not sure if it's red or if it's orange, but whichever it is, this tells me I have an email that's waiting. So if you have email, it'll have a dot on there um, per classes. So now let's go to activities, assessments. Some um, professors and instructors put the quiz and tests in here under the assessments that we just went to. This particular class is, again, has that connect that we talked about. So that's where the tests and quizzes are, will be in this class. Attendance, checklist, some professors and instructors use a checklist. Uh, so here it just tells you the items that you need to successfully complete for module one, it tells you how many you've done. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, discussions. Now, discussions are very important, especially um, in your online anytime classes. You'll have a discussion component as well as this virtual uh, online class also has a discussion component. So you want to make sure. So we just clicked on discussion. Class discussion again tells you all the information and that you have what is expected of you to make a case. Here's the class introduction. So it actually is open a little early before classes start, um, but it'll tell you when it's unlocked and when it's locked. So you wanna make sure that you do the work in between these times. Um, if you write a post and you subscribe to the thread or it's your post, if someone answers back to you, you'll have a little red or orange dot here by the discussion and you know that they have um, written on your discussion post. While we're talking about the red orange dots, right here this bell shape is an alert, so it may remind you that assignments are coming up, it may let you know something's been graded in your grade, um, it could be there's more information in the news, uh, the news feed on the class, so a lot of uh, professors and instructors update that 
um, update their class using the news feature. So you want to keep a look on that. Um, while we're talking about the news feature, I just want to go back here. So if you click on the name of the course, that gets you right back to the news feature. So you want to always kind of keep a look on this, you know, and you should be checking, you know, at least every other day, if not every day, because it is a, it's really important that we keep up with our classes. So back to activities, here's the Dropbox. You're going to hear a lot about Dropbox, put things in the Dropbox. That's where it's located. Um, these open August 24th, so there's nothing that we can click on and put in the Dropbox at this time. But you've got your due dates and... You would click on it and you would upload it from either your computer or a flash drive, however you have saved it, and then you would submit it via Dropbox. All right, we go down here to grades. Grades, we're not going to have any, but I just want to show you that, you know, you have zero points out of 920. So nothing's been done, but this is where your grades would show up and you can keep a look on the grades. So that is a quick tutorial as to how to go through it, user. There's, you could look at class progress. But that is what's really important if you wanted to switch classes and check your other classes. Again, you can go to this grid and see them in a list. Or you can also go back to home. Now, home will take you back to the main home page where if you wanted to find the information about the WebEx or the Zoom or the Teams, or if you wanted to scroll down and find your classes again down here. So that is how you use eLearn. I know there's a lot of information here, but you can do it. Just remember to schedule yourself some time to make sure you can get your work done. Um, the more scheduled and organized you can be, the better. And if you have questions, make sure you let your professors and instructors and uh, even your advisors know if you need help. Everybody's here to helpful, help you. Um, I know you can do it. You just got to put the time and the work in. And um, good luck. If you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.